Hi Virgo, this is Eileen with your May 2019 Psychic Tarot card reading. And we're starting the month of May with the Six of Swords card. And the Six of Swords is talking about some of you Virgos moving away from a difficult situation that you've been in. For some, this could be a place you've worked that was not working out well and maybe had a lot of negativity around you from people. And so you're moving on to another job in May. For others, this has to do with a relationship. Some of you might even be going through a divorce or a separation at this time. For others, maybe you've been living with someone and it's just been, I get, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm reading the meanings of the cards and I'm tuning in on a psychic level. So, um, and also this is a general reading. So some of these cards will relate to some people while other cards might relate to others. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on that person's circumstances. But I'm feeling that um, for some of you, I'm getting, and this could be one person I'm tuning in for, but I kind of suspect it might be a few because I'm getting different scenarios for different people. Something about people who have been around you and they've really been giving you a bad time, okay? Um, I feel like they're a disagreeable bunch of people, whoever they are. It might be a few. It may not be a bunch of them, but it might be just a few people. This could be in a work situation, but it could be around a living arrangement, I, you know, I'm wondering if maybe um, you've been involved with someone in the romantic sense and that's had its real stressful situation going on anyway for a number of months. But there's other people in there poking at you about the whole thing. It might be that person's relatives. It might be their friends or somebody. It's like the person you've been involved with, they've got their own little network there and they all seem to be against you okay and they're but they feel like they're argumentative difficult people anyway so you're um it's been very stressful for you because i feel like you've stayed with this person and stayed in this situation a while and i, I feel like it's been difficult for you to make up your mind to go and you might even, whoever this is, you might still be up in the air about it because you don't know if what you're going to is any better. It's almost that type of thing. But, I mean, no one should live in those kind of circumstances. If you have a way to get out, you really should, you know, get step out from the situation, look at it objectively for yourselves. But for other people, this could be some kind of a work situation where you've had negative people around you at work. And um, I just feel arguing or disagreements and uh, I don't know, and just feeling very uncomfortable in a situation. And so it's, it's like it's obvious you do need to move on from this situation. For someone, it could be, um, you know, a living arrangement, maybe even neighbors, or maybe you've had roommates or that type of thing, too. But it's good that you're moving on to something better, whoever this applies to, because this is not for everybody. Like I said, it's a general reading, and I am getting different scenarios for different people. So whoever has this Six of Swords energy and scenarios around you in May, it is good to extricate yourself from those kind of really difficult circumstances, because it's you, you can't be living your life in a miserable way like that. And for some of you, you are moving on temporarily to something else that's a little better but not ideal. Um, I think that's where I'm getting some um, confusion for a one or two of you or a few that you're not sure or you know are you going to anything any better. It feels like you take one step and you're in some temporary situation then you got to move on again to get much better. Okay so you're better off just making your way through it and even if you've got to use something as a stepping stone, whether it's a living arrangement, a job, whatever it is, and it's not going to be ideal, just go to that, it looks like. And then after that, you're going to have a clearing where you're going to have a better opportunity and it's going to be a, a real new beginning for you. That's what I'm getting, whoever this is applying to. So just, you know, be as objective as you can about your circumstances and clear minded, but don't be willing to put up with bad circumstances and people mistreating you. Just don't be willing to tolerate that.
Um, next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. And this is one of your cards because the Pentacles relate to the Earth signs of Virgo and Taurus and Capricorn. And so what this is telling us is that some of you Virgos are going to be in the position of the Queen of Pentacles in May. You're going to be feeling prosperous and good about all that you have, all that you've accomplished in your life over the years, whatever time period that you've been working, working towards your goals and your dreams. And a number of you are doing well right now. So you're going to be well aware that you have a lot to be grateful for. But at the same time, you have this sense of responsibility. Like, yes, uh, I'm doing well, but I have to keep maintaining it. And I have to, uh, you know, I have certain responsibilities. I can't just um, be on a permanent vacation and have fun now enjoying whatever I have. It's like the, it's an ongoing, ongoing responsibilities that you're well aware of. But at the same time, you know, you have a lot to be grateful for and you're feeling comfortable and feeling prosperous and feeling good. And that's a much better place to be than to be feeling like you don't have what you need. Now, I always recommend those people who are not enjoying prosperity or feeling very prosperous to learn about the law of attraction and start practicing feeling prosperous, not just thinking it, but feeling it throughout your being, like you're successful, you're prosperous, you have lots of love in your life and all that, that you need, and there's plenty more, and the universe is providing for you. And the more that you believe it and feel it throughout your being, the more you attract those conditions to yourself. So when you're worrying and feeling like you don't have enough, it's like you attract more things to worry about. So, um, and I just heard the words, well, being realistic, like somebody's going to be listening to this and thinking, you got to be realistic. Well, you, 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 you be realistic, but at the same time, you got to feel prosperous. So if you're having a downtime and not enough money, it's like, look at it like this is temporary. I'm moving on from this because I'm making my way to something much better. And you make plans and you, you work towards your goals and whatever it is. And Virgos are good at that anyway. Virgos are very good detail-oriented people. They can really make a good plan and work their plan. And, they, and the earth signs, they have a lot of uh, patience to accomplish their goals, to be prosperous, to have a good solid future, a solid home. Um, but it is looking like a number of you are going to be uh, feeling, enjoying the feelings and emotions of the Queen of Pentacles. And also for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles could be someone in your life in May who fits this description who might be a benefit to you because I don't get any negative feelings from this card. So for some of you, you might be applying for a car loan or a mortgage or whatever. And this queen of pentacles might be the one who approves something who looks at you and says, okay, yeah, that's fair and approves something for you. Or it might be a manager or owner where you work and they might benefit you in some way in your job. So maybe giving you a raise or, um, um, promotion or transferring you to a better position somehow. Uh, it's just this is favorable, okay? Either you're embodying the traits of the Queen of Pentacles or this person is going to benefit you in May in one way or another. And here's a great card here, the star. This is a major arcana destiny card. And the star is going to light your way to prosperity and healing and success. The star has a very healing effect on your life. So even if you've had aches and pains and whatever, the star is going to be offering a healing energy to you in the month of May. If you've had financial problems or whatever, relationship issues, relationship problems, such as anyone going through that six of swords energy in May, trying to leave a bad situation, the star is going to offer the light uh, to guide you to better places, better conditions where you'll be happier and more comfortable and secure and healing, healing of the hurts. If you've been hurt by other people in relationship matters, whether it's at work or a previous rela uh, personal relationship, the star offers, offers that healing energy to you to heal from those experiences because they are, they can be traumatizing, whether it's a personal relationship or even a, um, business situation at work or something, or maybe even some real disagreeable neighbors or roommates or who knows what. Um, the next card we have is the Six of Cups. 
this kitty is always looking at me in this car. Look at this kitty. Look at that look. That's a telepathic kitty. That kitty's always looking like, like he or she is looking into my mind, into my thoughts. <laughs> this kitty is always staring at me. The Six of Cups. This is a nice card because, and the cups relate to the water signs of Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but they relate to feelings and love and emotions. And the Six of Cups is talking about, for some of you Virgos, you might have someone from your past that you had a nice time with. It could be a friend, just a good friend that you get together with again, or maybe a relative you haven't seen in a while. But for some of you, this could be a more romantic journey here. This might be someone that in the past, maybe you were just friends with them, and then now you're around them again, and that friendship starts turning into a romance where you start looking at that person in a different way and think, well, they're, you know, I, I like this person and start looking at them more romantically, maybe where in years past that you looked at them as a friend only. And so that could, it, it's happy times. It's happiness with someone from your past. Or for some of you, this could even relate to something you enjoyed doing in the past. It might be some work you were doing where you were doing well and making money and enjoying yourself, enjoying the people around you. And for whatever reason, that phased out, it ended, but you might be able to have another opportunity with that again in May. It might be a company you work for that you really liked and you did well, or it might be a type of work you were doing before that worked out so well for you. For some people, it might be a business you may have had a business. Maybe you've had it all this time, but it hadn't done well lately. And then all of a sudden you start reviving it and it's blooming and doing well and, and just being prosperous and giving you a lot of satisfaction and, and happiness and prosperity in your life. So it could be a romantic or a friendship situation from the past that's brought forward again and it becomes a more, a more a happier situation or something regarding work and making money and um, it could even be some artistic things for some of you. I feel like there's some kind of creativity going on for some of you where you might be creating things, making things, and maybe it was something that's kind of been buried with you. You know, I feel like there's some latent talents that have just been um, buried beneath the surface for some of you, talents for some kind of creativity that you've just had it buried under all the other practical responsibility, whatever things that happen in our lives all the time where you push certain things way, way, way back. And for some of you, this you could just be bringing this forward again in May where you start create, you just start feeling creative. You start feeling like, uh, you know, let's say you used to paint years ago and you haven't done it in a long time. And one morning you might wake up and think, I feel like painting or anything like that or making things. So it's just a, a chance for some happiness for a number of you. And it's something relating to a person or a situation from the past. So it's a nice card. Next card we have is the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is talking about being in a bit of a dreamy state of mind where you might actually not be looking at things realistically. And this is, I'm feeling, and again, the cups typically do relate to romance or love or feelings or whatever. So for some of you, you might be looking at the idea of a number of different people you're looking at that you're attracted to and wondering, well, could this person be nice for me? Or maybe that person's the one I would marry or I would really spend my life with or whatever. And kind of um, this cup relates to not looking at things or people as realistically as you should. Kind of like you got the rose colored gla glasses on. So you have to guard against that. And it's nice to be dreamy and kind of daydream and relax at times to just to take a break from all your responsibilities. That's fine. But if you're looking at, let's say, prospective um, mates or partners or whatever. Um, I try to look at the person as realistic as you can. Don't go get carried away just with 
you know, based on their looks. You know, it's easy to look at somebody and maybe you're attracted to them and think, oh, yes, this person will be perfect for me. In a reality, they might be very selfish or they might be mean or who knows what. So look at people as realistic as you can and take your time getting to know them before deciding this is the love of your life. This is who you're going to spend your life with. You know, go carefully and get to know people better. Um, this could relate. Some of you might be doing online dating because I'm, I'm feeling, uh, you know, like it's it, you're looking you might be looking at several different people and getting little fantasies about different ones and all that. So <laughs> but just, you know, try to be as objective as you can when you're doing this and make sure, you know, um, you try to narrow it down and, and um, look at the person as realistically as you can. Next card we have is the Page of Pentacles. And again, this is one of your cards, the Pentacles relating to the Earth signs. The Page of Pentacles is talking about a number of you Virgos getting some good news about money, about your financial situation in the month of May. Some of you might be receiving some money or property or something like that in May. And it's good. It's going to make you feel good for those of this that this applies to. Others might just be receiving receiving some news about some money or something else of value that's on its way to you that you that belong to you or something it's something real good for you I'm getting good good energy from this card and for some of you it might have to do with I don't know somebody might be buying a house and they find out they've got the loan going through or they got that they're getting the house they wanted maybe there was a few people making an offer or maybe they made an offer and didn't know if it would be accepted I got something all of a sudden that came to me somebody buying a house and they're getting it it's like it's gonna they're gonna get that house whoever this is for for someone else it could be a new car or something I'm just feeling some things of value that some of you will be receiving in one way or another Others might get news that they're being hired for a particular job that they applied for also. So some of you who are in the midst of sending out resumes or maybe even uh, trying to get a raise or a promotion or a transfer where you're currently working, you might find out, yeah, you've been chosen for that. Um, I'm just getting overall good, good news, good energy for a number of you. Now also on the more romantic side, the pages as a person, typically that's somebody kind of young, like in their 20s or something. I mean, maybe 30-ish, I'm not sure, but I think for the most part, like in their 20s. Um, and for some of you, if you're in that age bracket, like maybe 20s or 30 or something, and you're single and looking, you could have someone new come into your life who's going to be attracted to you and wanting to get to know you. I feel like they're not going to be too pushy about it. This person's going to be a little shy about it. They're going to be very attracted to you and drawn to you, and they're not even going to know if you'll, you would be interested in them. They're kind of modest. But this is a good potential perspective partner, friend, mate, whatever, because this person in their career is going to do well for themselves. That's what I'm feeling like. They're patient. They're going to take their time. Well, it, it's a one of the earth signs, you know, they're just going to work their plan. They, this person might even be in college right now. So if you're like in college, you might meet this person at school, or they might just be starting their career at a job. They might even be working where you are, or maybe they're out and about when you're socializing with your friends and this person's out and mingling around your group of friends. But I feel like this is a nice person. They're honest. They're down to earth. They're not um, the type to be lying and cheating and all that. They're pretty good, solid. They, they really have good character traits. And they're going to be drawn to you, and uh, but kind of shy about it. So they'll just gradually try to get acquainted with you, maybe like on a acquaintanceship friendship level before they would ever get around to trying to get a date with you is what I feel like <laughs> so um, but it is someone who could be who would be a prospectively good partner mate for somebody long term because they'll be real steady honest hard-working they'll do well for themselves over their life and they're not a cheater type personality they're honest one-on-one -on -one. Um, and I think a nice looking person too. Next card we have, uh, and if you're not in that young age group in the 20s, then that, you know, that's not going to apply to you. That's for somebody like my, maybe in their 20s or 30s, some 20s or maybe right at 30, something like that, kind of on the young side. Okay, um, next card we have is the Knight of Wands. 
And the wands relate to the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. They usually relate to work and progress and forward movement and um, action. And the Knight of Wands is talking about some of you uh, might be having a certain amount of movement that's work-related possibly. Somebody might even be transferring to a new location for your job. So, um, and others of you, I feel some of you are just maybe in some kind of sales type work where you might just be out in your car a lot and driving around a lot. Some of you might be flying here and there. Some of you could be taking a trip also. This could relate to some of you taking a trip in May. But also I'm getting good news about work-related um, um, circumstances for some of you. And I do feel a number of you are going to be making good progress in your work and feeling good about it, getting good feedback, and you're just feeling good and feeling enthusiastic about the work you're doing and you're moving forward, making good progress. Now also I'm feeling this is someone who's going to be on a more romantic level coming into some of your lives also. Now this person is very uh, consumed with their career. But they want to have someone they can be dating. They don't want to just be working 24 hours a day or thinking about work all the time. They want to have some balance in their life. They, this person wants to enjoy themselves when they're not busy working. They want to have fun. They want to go out. They want to go, go to dinner, go get some drinks, whatever. Go have a good time. Listen to some music, that type of thing. This person wants to have, um, you know, if they're off on their weekends or whatever, they want to go out and do things and have a nice time, and they want someone to do, those, do things with them. So that's what I'm feeling like for some of you. This could be a person for romantic purposes coming into your life that you could be dating. I feel like this person will be attracted to you and you'd be attracted to them. And so they could be a fun person to go out with and spend time with and just doing doing fun things, you know, and just enjoying yourselves on your days off and whatever. But I don't feel this person wants to settle down too soon. I really feel like they're concentrating on their career. They're really doing well and making good progress in their career. And they're very ambitious and money oriented. They want to keep going and um, accomplishing things. And this person might be busy quite a bit with their job. They might even either on the road around town, around their city, but they might be traveling in their work too. Um, they might, for somebody, this person might live a little distance from you. They might live a half hour, an hour away from you too. So that puts a little more pressure on how often you can get together. But Overall, they are looking, they're going to, this person's going to be attracted. Um, I feel like some of you are going to have this person around you. They're going to be attracted to you and uh, thinking about, hey, you know, I'm attracted to that person. That might be somebody good to go out with and have a good time with on the weekend or something. So, um, you know, they, they just want to enjoy their lives when they're not busy working. They're very ambitious, but want to have fun on their time off. And that's what I feel like. Okay. And then... The next card we have is the King of Pentacles. Look, you got the Queen of Pentacles and you have the King of Pentacles also. And again, this, this is one of the Earth Signs cards, the Pentacles. This is the cards for Virgo and Taurus and Capricorn. And so a number of you... Virgos, again, you're going to be in good shape in, in May. You're going to be feeling good about your prosperity, about what you have, about, uh, you know, your home, your life, your work, just feeling like you're appreciating and enjoying your life the way it is, enjoy, enjoying what you have and your prosperity. That The thing is, you know you've worked for whatever you have. It's not like something's falling into your lap. You've been working for whatever number of years and doing good quality work and at times not having a lot of fun. At times just working and working and working, I feel like. But around in May, you might be feeling like, okay, yeah, I've spent my share of time working really hard and not having much time off. But I want to enjoy, I'm in a place now that I want to enjoy myself too. I want balance. I want to enjoy what I have. And so for a number of you, you're going to be embracing the feelings and the traits of the King of Pentacles, just like uh, the Queen of Pentacles. And um, this is really good. I mean, this is just, you got some good cards here. It's a lot of good energy going on here for you. So 
And again, I, I, I really advise you, if you're not in this position, if you don't feel prosperous, if you just feel like things are not going your way, you really need to just start embracing the feelings, embracing the emotions of that prosperous state of mind and make your plans for your future and what you want to accomplish and just be working toward your plan little by little. And Virgos are so detail oriented. If anybody can do, do that, it's a Virgo. They're I mean, they can really make good plans, detailed plans, and um, break it down every step of the way, what you need to do from one point to the next to get where you want to go. So, I mean, you know, Virgos are capable of doing that, of really fo focusing on what they want and where they're going, if anybody can. So, um, and now for some of you, this King of Pentacles could be a person in your life in May. And again, this is somebody who would benefit you. Could be like a manager, an owner where you work. Now, I'm feeling some romantic interest here too for somebody. So for someone or maybe a few of you, this King of Pentacles could be someone who's around you in May and who's attracted to you and wondering because, and this person will be um, single or divorced or something. They're not going to be married. <clears throat> they might be divorced, maybe single, whatever, but they're available. And I feel like, yes, this person does well for themselves and they've been involved with whoever in the past, but they're, I feel like this person for whoever this is for um, is looking for someone they that really they can just feel some magic with. That's what I feel like. But I feel like for some of you, this might just be one person I'm tuning in for, or a few, that this King of Pentacles is going to notice you and be attracted to you and, um, you know, kind of wanting to get to know you. So I feel like you, this, this person might already be in your life, but if they're not, they're not going to be real shy about it. I'll tell you that. This person's confident, but not pushy, but they're confident. So they're going to speak to you confidently, uh, like one-on-one. -on -one. It feels like it's just almost like an instant connection, whoever this is for. So, And this King of Pentacles might be a little older than you. That's what I'm feeling like. If they're not older, they look a little older. You look younger. So you might be very young looking and they might be a little bit, you know, just look their age. <laughs> Something along those lines. But they don't look real old. I don't get that. But this would be, this could be a real good person to be with is what I'm feeling like. Again, I get a real steady, honest kind of nature. I'm not getting dishonesty with this person. But they want quality. So if they start seeing someone and they don't feel like that's the right person for them, they're going to move on. They, they want a good quality, happy relationship with someone. And I feel like they definitely don't want anybody who's going to be criticizing them. I just got that. I just saw that and felt it. Like if they started dating somebody and all of a sudden that person's criticizing them and finding fault and being picky, picky about everything and, you know, just critiquing everything they do or say, they're going to cut it off. They're going to say, mm, no, not. they may not even have an argument about it or anything. They might just, thank you, goodbye. <laughs> it's like they're just going to move on. <laughs> so, okay, next card we have is the Eight of Wands. And the wands relate to the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Action, work-oriented situations, progress. The Eight of Wands is talking about things just moving ahead quickly. For those of you who have felt like something's been going too slowly, maybe you've been waiting on something. Some of you might have been waiting to get word about whether or not you're getting a particular job you applied for, or maybe if a transfer is going to come through for you. And for others, it might be something else. Maybe it's a place to live. Some of you may have been looking for a place to rent or buy, and it's kind of everything's been at a standstill. And so it's almost like, well, not, maybe nothing's happening right now. Maybe it's later sometime. And then all of a sudden, something comes out of the blue, and you have to move really quickly in order to capitalize on it and to get whatever this is. Um, so it's good. It's good, but, you know, it might be a little hectic because it's like all of a sudden you got to move quickly. If it's got to do with someone getting a job that's going to transfer you out of town, it's like you might all of a sudden just have to pack up, get call, move, get moving information. I mean, just get busy on it right away. Yeah, it's just forward movement, 
quickly. So again, this is a general reading. So all of these cards will not relate to everybody. Certain cards will, other cards will not. So those of you who are, have been in some kind of a lull in some situation in your life, whether it's a, a relocating in one way or another, moving from one place to another, a job situation you're waiting on to hear news about, whatever it is, it's like all of a sudden things could just take off for you. So it, it's, it's, it, I just get this little feeling like, oh my God, I got to get going kind of feeling like you've got to really just jump on it right away. <laughs> and then the last card we have is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is talking about a lot of you Virgos working and working and working so hard, working towards your goals, just working on your responsibilities day in and day out that you start feeling like exhausted, like how much more of this do I have to do? But you're very strong. You have a lot of inner strength. I, I really feel like the earth signs, they are solid, strong people in general. And so you can get to your destination. And you know that inside. You don't even need anybody to tell you that. You know it deep within your being that you've already been down this road before. You've had other times in your life that you've had to work hard, put in long hours, get exhausted, but you keep going. You don't give up. You might take a little break here and there or take a pause, but I mean, overall, you keep going. Uh, the advice of this card is try to step outside of your circumstances if you're going through this right now. Look at your circumstances objectively. See if there's any areas of your life where you can delegate some of your responsibilities. If it's at work that you're just totally overburdened with all the different things they want you to do at your job, see if there's anyone else that you could delegate any of your work to, to share some of those um, you know, responsibilities. If it's, uh, you know, you might work all day and go home, and have family members, whatever, that are just relaxing and watching TV or something or just waiting to see what food you're going to put on the table and sitting there waiting. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to start speaking up and telling people they have to have some, some little jobs there to help out too. <laughs> so, because uh, that's what I'm feeling. A number of you, you carry the burdens on your back. You, you just, and you probably don't complain a lot about it. You know, you might say something here and there. A lot of it might build up inside of you. That's what I'm getting. And you don't want to let things build up. Then it becomes like a volcano about to erupt. And you don't want to do that. So, yeah, look at your situation objectively if this is you. And see if you can delegate some of your responsibilities to help out a bit. So you can have more balance. Everybody wants balance in their life. Okay, now this deck I've been using, this is the Gilded Tarot by Cheryl Marchetti. And what I want to do now is pick one card from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by uh, Doreen Virtue. Okay, I have to get a drink of my water. So I'm going to shuffle this deck and um, then fan them out and pick a card and see what the message is for Virgo for May. And if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, so you'll receive notifications when I post new videos. If you have already subscribed, I thank you for your subscriptions. Also, be checking for your rising and moon signs as they're coming available. Um, I'm a little late getting all of them done. It's already May 2nd, and this is just my, what is this, 4, 6, 7. This is only my 7th one, so there's still 5 more to go. So, uh, but check and see, maybe your rising and moon sign might already be there, or just keep checking back every few days to see if it's there, because you might find um, some of the cards, some of the messages resonating with you in your rising and moon sign readings also. And feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for May for Virgo? What's the message for Virgo for the month of May? Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. What's the message for May for Virgo? The Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. Okay, I'll give it one more shuffle and then fan these out. What's the message for Virgo for May 2019? Oh, wow. I love this. Okay. This says divine magic. 
extra magical energy surround your situation right now. Expect miracles. Love this. The lighting is so, I've got bright lights and I've got shadows. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surround your situation right now. Expect miracles. Great message. Nice little image there, too. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to pick one card from Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Josephine Wall. Okay. So, what is the message for Virgo from May 2019? What's the message for Virgo from May 2019 for Virgo? What's the message for Virgo from May 2019? This deck's more difficult for me to shuffle, although I'm not the most expert shuffler anyway. I still shuffle the cards the way I did when I was 10 years old, sitting at the kitchen table playing Go Fish. <laughs> okay, what's the, what's the message for Virgo? From May 2019. Okay, I'll give it one more shuffle and then fan these out. Okay. Oh, oh, I like this. This card was. Okay, there we go. This one says fresh approach. That's number 21. I'll look it up in the booklet too. And I don't know what. If you can see the images better on the dark side, the shadowy side, see the animals over on the left. And this is a person. Yeah, see? The big trees for her hair. It's like she's got wings, like a fairy, fairy person or something of the woodland, I guess. See if it, the image is any better in the light. So many animals and the details on the left side. These are just such interesting, beautiful cards. Okay, let me look this one up. 21. Let's see. Number 21. Okay. Fresh approach. Time to step. Time to step out of the box and an old way of doing things. You are being challenged to try something new. Look at how to create magic in your world. Create with the intention of filling your life with joy and happiness. Achieve your desires while experimenting with new activities. You always have options. Don't feel limited. Even when you aren't in motion, you are making a choice. You are being prodded to make a decision now. Don't worry about not making the right one. Every mistake brings us lessons and opportunities. The amount you can learn is immeasurable. Base your choice on love and the best option for you. Imagine that your failing is not part of any of your choices. What will you choose? That's a good message. I like that. That's good advice. Okay. And then last but not least, I'll pick one card from the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay. Archangels, what is your message for Virgo for May 2019? Virgo, what's your message for Virgo for May 2019? Archangels. I'll give it another shuffle and fan these out. What's the message for Virgo for May 2019? This one came right up right here. Oh, this, is, this sounds good. Look, overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you, and you are surmounting any previous challenges. I love it. And that ties in with this Six of Swords card. 
overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Great message to end on. I like that for sure. I just picked one for me. I saw there was one looking at me. Now they're all upside, you know, face down. So I don't see what the message was. And for some reason, I don't usually do this. I, I was going to put the deck back together that I have fanned out. And, and I asked in my head, I said, what's the message for me? And I picked it up. And this is so accurate. This is for me. Clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. I Definitely, that's my big project for this year is to get organized and not to live with clutter. <laughs> so the cards can be pretty accurate with their messages. Okay. So thank you for watching my video, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And um, be sure and check for your rising and moon signs. Some of them are probably there now for you. Otherwise, keep checking back. I'll be posting more videos in the upcoming days. Um, next on my list is Scorpio. So if anybody needs Scorpio for their rising or moon, that's my next one coming up. Um, and then, and then I'll have four left after that. They're all kind of, these are kind of late now because we're already on May 2nd now, but be checking so you can see if anything, um, is, uh, resonates for, for you and, uh, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. And be sure and subscribe so you'll be notified when I post new, new videos. So enjoy the rest of your May and thank you for watching my video.